Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Back again with another little tips and tricks for you guys. I've made this video before talking about how I recover from running uh, when I was still in college. Now that I am out of college, I'm here back at the home. Uh, I thought I'd make an updated version of things that I do at home, things that you guys can do as well to take advantage of, you know, the easy little ways you can recover while still being at home. And, uh, you know, obviously we don't all have uh, access to facilities that cl colleges do. So this can help introduce some new and effective forms of recovery into your, you know, daily plan. And I'm going to start off by saying that the first thing I do when I finish running is stretching. I think that's a pretty common one. I don't think we need to go too deep into it, but I do want to, you know, just emphasize the fact that stretching before and after is very much going to help with the recovery process and keep you injury free. So make sure you absolutely are stretching when you're done running, especially doing some static stretching can go a long ways. Going into number two though, the next thing that I do when I am done running is I start to consume some of the things that I lost. When you're running, you know, you're sweating a ton, you're going through carbs, electrolytes, all that good stuff. You know, the, all that fuel that your body burns as you run, you got to, you know, refuel in a sense. Now, depending on whether it's, you know, energy drinks or sports drinks, protein shakes, you know, Coach Gummerson would always tell us at the end of summer running, go home, have a bowl of cereal, a glass of chocolate milk. You know, all those things that you can consume right after running to help introduce that fuel back into your system is very important to help, you know, jumpstart that recovery process. Your body's not gonna be able to fully recover when it needs those things that you use while you're running. So me personally, I always drink a protein shake after all of my runs. I've noticed how much it's helped ever since I've left college. I've also been doing an electrolyte drink when I'm done running, especially on the hotter days throughout the summer, including water, like just straight up water. And then I'll have an electrolyte drink. I'm drinking water throughout the day. And the first thing I do, like I said, when I'm done running, you know, take a protein shake, just down really quick. And it's just helping, like I said, restart that, you know, recovery process that your body's, you know, asking obviously you to refuel and then boom, take that protein shake or whatever you got to do, start recovery and you're good to go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to mention is probably the most important thing when it comes to recovery. There is no better form of recovery. Everybody knows what it is and it's going to be sleep. Obviously, you guys know that sleeping eight to 10 hours every single day is very important, but something I want to specifically hit on when it comes to sleep is the fact that you need to be consistent when it comes to sleep. Your sleep is only as good as you allow it to be. It's not going to be good, proper, deep sleep if you're not doing it consistently. Stretch, sleep, both free. Do those. Make sure you are properly recovering, doing your thing, and life will be good. This next form of recovery, I'm going to kind of have like three kind of parts of it. It's going to be rolling out, using a rope, and using a lacrosse ball. Uh, rolling out, obviously, foam rolling it can very much help reduce you know, soreness, help that recovery process start a little bit quicker, uh, making sure that all your body is feeling good. Same thing goes with a lacrosse ball and a rope. You can use these to do different stretches, making sure you're rolling out your legs. It's just a better form of recovery overall. It's going to help get that soreness out of your body. And if you properly do it, you learn different ways of stretching with the rope or, you know, making sure you're using your lacrosse ball regularly to roll out your feet, you're going to feel better long term. So I would highly recommend making sure you guys add this into your, you know, maybe not daily plan, but definitely weekly plan. If you could do this two to three times a week, you are going to be so much better off and not doing it at all. So maybe if you even know if, if it's only two to three times a week, it's still so much better than not doing it at all. I highly recommend doing this. Add it in a little bit. Try to add it more and more as you go. I promise you, you're going to feel so much better if you can do this consistently. It will really take you a far away. I promise. I've noticed for myself, especially throughout the cross country season, I just felt 10 times better when I was doing it consistently. So obviously that's something to keep your eyes focused on. Keep it in the back of your head, just making sure you're doing it as much as you can.
Now this last form of recovery is probably the only form of recovery that is a little bit more expensive, but we're gonna call it heat slash cold therapy on top of using a massage gun. Now I got a brand new massage gun sent to me by Bob and Brad and they sent me this X6 Pro massage gun with heat and cold therapy. It's an attachment that you place onto it. You can turn it on and it'll turn on a heat function or a cold function. And you know, I love massage guns. They're fantastic for really hitting pinpoint parts of your body. It's also a little bit easier than rolling out or using a rope. I think everything has its own purpose, but especially with the massage gun, I love using it before my runs to loosen my legs up. I think that's a great way to use the heat function of it. Using the heat allows my body to just get ready a little bit earlier. And then when I'm done running, I can turn that cold function on and I'm able to not only use cold therapy, but I'm also still massaging out those muscles. So you're kind of getting a two for one treatment with the heat and cold therapy on the massage gun. Now granted, you could do this in many different ways, whether it's using an ice pack or it's using a heat pack or you're just using you know a normal massage gun but the three in one that you're really getting with this massage gun is absolutely fantastic i'll drop a link to the website if you guys want to check it out for yourself in the description below uh, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that but they sent it to me and i have been in love with it ever since they sent it i could not say anything you know bad about it whatsoever it's really been a blessing to be able to use so i very much appreciate them sending it to me and yeah, I really, really, really do think that this is going to be a huge help to me throughout the years of me continuing on my running journey. You know, having it have such a convenience for me to just be able to grab that bad boy, turn the heat on early in the morning, let my body wake up, let my legs get ready to go. It goes a long way, I promise you that. So that's just one more way that you could add some recovery to your system. Obviously you do have to invest a little bit into it, but in the long term, I really do think it's worth it. And with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll definitely answer all of them. And yeah, those are just some different ways that I try to prioritize recovering. You know, there you want to feel good on your runs. You want to be at the best you can be. Recovery is the key. And yeah, you just got to be consistent with it. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Take care of little things and peace out.